Dear team Microsoft, I trust you're all keeping well and safe. My name is Dr. Ambika Rajwanshi, and I'm the CEO of a palliative care organization called Can Support. We are a 25 year old organization working across four Northern states of India, caring for about 4,000 cancer patients and their families at any given time, striving to make their challenging journey with cancer more manageable, meaningful, and memorable. Our work has been recognized and awarded by the World Health Organization. In India, more than 75% cancer patients are first diagnosed in an advanced stage. Since they cannot be cured, our hospitals ask them to return home, condemning them to spend their last days in lingering pain and despair, and eventually a painful death. The families too fall apart with overwhelming burdens. Palliative care is a medical subspecialty that alleviates suffering, keeps patients comfortable and positively engaged till the end of their lives, and offers a support system to sustain the family. We help people with advanced cancer live well despite the severity of their illness and help them die well when time comes. Our 32 multidisciplinary teams of doctors, nurses, and counselors offer palliative care to these patients in the comfort of their homes, wherever it may be. The first help that the teams offer is factual information about their illness to help make informed decisions and suggest practical ways in which they can regain a sense of control and self-worth and find meaning in their circumstances. Advanced cancer is fraught with pain and distressing symptoms. Our doctors make a judicious use of medicines to ensure that patients remain free of pain and functional throughout. Our nurses offer comprehensive nursing care, whether it is wound care, bed sore management, lymphedema, care of tubes, or a million other things that a nurse does. The nurses also teach simple skills to family caregivers and provide medical equipment so that they can effectively take care of their loved ones at home. Our counselors listen with empathy, respect every step of the dying process and respond to the emotional and spiritual needs. It may not all be about giving answers, but about making them comfortable enough to express their anguish and assure them that they are, they are with them as they cross their ocean of sorrow. This young boy here wanted to know if his mother was dying with cancer because he failed his math exam. If there was no one to answer his questions, he would have spent his entire life in guilt. The teams cater to a special need, the need for the dying to come to terms with their past, to embrace the present as best as they can, to say their goodbyes and finally let go in peace. They also help families sustain themselves with the happy memories of their dear, dear departed. Our work is God's work, a mix of medical science and art of compassionate communication. It is completely free of charge and we try to add life to days, whether or not days can be added to life. Since its inception, can support programs have directly impacted more than three lakh people with cancer in improving their quality of life across physical, emotional, spiritual, social and financial suffering. It has saved cost for the society and healthcare system as a whole due to a reduction in symptom burden, lower rate of hospital admission, few transfers to intensive care units, and a reduced need for invasive procedures. Annually, Can Support's programs help preserve critical care costs worth 15 million US dollars and add to the survival advantage. As the incidence of cancer grows exponentially, the need for palliative care becomes more urgent. There is no national policy or state policy for palliative care in Northern India states, and therefore there is no fund or support for its provision. We have to reach out to many, many more, and many of these could be people close to us. We are looking up to you to help us fill this critical gap and care for those who are now beyond cure. Please help us. Thank you and take care.